welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today, I would like to answer the top three questions that I'm always asked as a raw vegan. So let's dive into the answers in this video. Thank you ever so much for joining me today for another video here on my channel. If you like these videos, if you want to see more, click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click the little bell and get notifications sent to you whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to check out all the wonderful links that we have in the description box below. We have a link to our new online community where we do live raw food classes. If you join, you get access to all the past classes as replays in there. It's such an amazing community. If you're looking for support, accountability, everything is there. There's lots of recipes in there too. Join up there. You can get uh, also 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe eBooks at payhip.com slash raw food romance. The code is raw food 40. That'll get you 40% off at checkout. And there's also the meal planning app at rawfoodromance.com and a link to our print versions of some of our popular eBooks that are in print on Amazon. So all the fun links are down below. Go check those out if anything interests you. So let's dive right in to the top three questions that I am asked most often as a raw vegan. Number one would have to be, what do you eat in a day? Now, I am asked many questions about many different topics, but this would probably be the most asked question, I think, uh, for me. So let's go into it pretty quick with what we usually eat in a day. Nate and I are pretty much the same. We do fruit in the morning and fruit as snacks. So we like to get up in the morning and on the most ideal day, we will have about 300 to 400 calories worth of fruit first thing in the morning after we've consumed a liter of water. Very important to stay hydrated. So we'll drink the water and then we'll have three to 400 calories worth of fruit. And now that's like maybe two big giant mangoes or four bananas or a couple of bananas and maybe a couple of pears just to get a little bit of fuel in right away. And this also helps us to be able to eat enough calories throughout the day by starting early and getting some of them in right away. Then we like to go for our workout or our walk or whatever we want to do, or sometimes we work a little bit and then around like 9.30 or so in the morning, that's typically usually the time that we do our smoothie. And our smoothie ends up being around 600 calories on average, it's different every day, but um, you know, that's pretty much average. So before lunch, we've consumed roughly 900 to 1000 calories worth of fruit right away in the morning. Then by lunchtime, we have our five to 600 calorie salad, which is usually uh, like fruiting vegetable based. So lots of tomatoes, lots of cucumbers, lots of really hydrating vegetables with lettuce. And we use a low fat date based dressing for that one. Usually if we don't do a salad for lunch, maybe we have a wrap, maybe we make a raw soup. It can vary. Uh, but for the most part, we typically have a really hydrating fruiting vegetable salad for lunch. Then if we feel like it, we'll snack on fruit, maybe a couple apples or some grapes or whatever we have on hand, a melon. We'll have that in between lunch and dinner if we feel we need. Then dinner is another salad <laughs> or wrap or raw sushi or some kind of cool, awesome, fun, raw creation for making new recipes. We'll have that uh, tacos, burgers, you know, the fun stuff we will have for dinner or we just have a salad or we just have a salad. It really depends on how we're feeling, what we plan for the day, what we have on hand, all of that stuff. So that salad or that meal typically has a little bit more fats in it than lunch. Lunch is usually a really low fat meal so that we can enjoy our fats with our dinner salad or dinner recipe or what have you. So that's basically in a nutshell, kind of an average of what we usually eat in a day. I range between 2,200, 2,400 calories a day or up to 2,700 calories if we've been very active. I tend to need a little bit more calories. I'm a little more hungry when we are more active, which is totally normal because we're burning more calories. we got to compensate for those calories, so I do eat a little bit more. 
So that leads me into the second top question that I usually get asked is how do I know I'm getting enough? And you can insert any word here, protein, fiber, calories, whatever it is, calcium, iron. How do I know I'm getting enough? Well, short answer is check chronometer, chronometer chronometer.com. You can enter in all the foods you're eating and check it compared to the RDAs or the suggested amounts that you may need for yourself. And it's going to change person to person, um, age, activity level, all of that comes into play. But usually the average RDAs are recommended there. And to know if you're getting enough, just enter your food in and compare and see and learn about the food that you're putting into your body. On a raw diet, as I say over and over, I feel like a broken record, we have to eat enough on a raw diet because raw fruits and vegetables are lower in calorie density. So we have to eat more of them to get enough calories. That's a big one too. How do I know I'm getting enough calories? And my best answer for this is eat your BMR plus your activity. So there are some formulas out there online. Um, The one that I remember off the top of my head right now is if you're moderately active to multiply your BMR by 1.55, and that should give you a rough estimate of how many calories you should aim for. So your BMR is your bare minimum requirement. That's what you need at complete rest. If you're not doing anything all day and you're just laying in bed all day, that's how many calories you need just to run your basic body functions like breathing and your heart pumping, uh, your organs working, That's the bare minimum that we need. However, diet culture out there has us believing that we need to eat our BMR to lose weight. We have to severely calorie restrict to lose weight. This puts people in a severe deficit, which can cause issues because if we're not eating enough calories, our body will start to break itself down to compensate for the calories that we're not giving it. So if you're at all active, if you get up and walk around, if you go to work, if you have kids and you're running around, you're doing errands, you're going grocery shopping, you're chopping food, you're talking, all of those things take calories. So we need to adjust, especially if you're exercising, that takes a lot of calories. So We have to adjust and add our activity on top of our BMR. Let's just average that out and say, eat your BMR plus around five to 600 extra calories on top of your BMR to make sure that you're getting enough calories in. Because if you're not, again, your body is going to start to break itself down to compensate for those calories that you're not ingesting. So it's very, very important to eat enough. Make sure you're getting enough um, to get enough like calcium and iron and other minerals. Eat a wide variety. Protein, for example, greens, vegetables, sprouts, eating lots of fruit. Actually getting enough calories in a day typically covers your bases. If you're under eating, you're going to have a lot more to worry about than not getting enough protein or not getting enough whatever you're going to be not getting enough of everything. So it's super important to make sure that you eat. You hit your targets. And my top two things that I think about when I'm eating is making sure that I eat enough and making sure that I get a good variety of plants in my diet. All raw, of course, because I choose raw. But wherever you are in your journey, if you're high raw or you're just experimenting with raw, more plants, more plant varieties. Aim to have a minimum of 30 different plant foods in your diet every week for improved gut microbiome and to get a broader range of nutrition. It's a good idea to have a little bit of everything so that you can get a little bit of everything that all the plants have to offer. And thirdly, the other question that I'm asked most often is how do I go raw? (laughs) That's kind of a fully loaded question, but It has a long answer and it has a short answer. The short answer is just to start. You don't need to wait until you're perfect or it's summertime or you're done with vacations and holidays because there's always going to be another vacation. There's always going to be another holiday. There's always going to be another weekend. There's always going to be another Monday, another whatever. It's never going to be a perfect time. You just have to start. And whether that's just with smoothies in the morning, start by lowering your fat intake so you can increase your fruit and vegetable intake. Um, Start slowly, work with your gut microbiome, and just start learning. Just like learning a new language. You're not expected to be completely fluent after a week, right? You're going to learn how to say hello. 
So that could be as easy as adding fruit as a snack in your day instead of having a coffee or a chocolate bar. It can be as easy as that to start adding more raw food into your life. And as you go through your life and as you make these positive changes, it'll get easier and easier. You'll learn more and you'll become more quote unquote fluent in a raw diet and it'll become easier, but it starts right now. What is one thing that you could do today to start adding more raw food into your diet? Is that a smoothie tomorrow morning? Is it lowering your fat intake? Is it getting rid of animal products and adding more vegetables? Is it making bigger salads? What is it that you can do today to start adding more raw food into your life? I mean, it can be as simple as adding microgreens to your cooked meal and eventually add the microgreens and add a fresh raw salad on the side. So you're eating a little less cooked and a little more raw. Mix it up have raw with cooked and work your way towards more raw, but start now. There's no better time than right now. This is the moment that exists for you to make those changes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that answered those questions if you had them for me. Um, if you want, you can check out our new Raw Food Romance online community. The link for that is in the description box below. If you want to attend live monthly raw food classes by Nate and I, and join because you can watch all the past episodes as well. They're all up. The replays are all up and they're all yours to watch and rewatch as many times as you like. If you join the community link down below, as well as the link for our eBooks payhip.com slash raw food romance. Use code raw food 40 at checkout to get a 40% off discount off any or all of our eBooks. You can enjoy the meal planning app at rawfoodromance.com. And there is also a link down below for the print versions of our eBooks. Some of our eBooks, the popular ones have been made into print. You can find all of those down below as well. So thank you so much for watching this video and we will be back tomorrow for another one. I love you and fruit on.